first, I thought it was a disastrous idea. I, I, I didn't want to do it at all. I think First Blood is, uh, the, I think, the best action film I've ever done. Hi, my name is Hervé Atia. I travel uh, to uh, Canada, British Columbia to uh, visit uh, and share with you the filming uh, location of First Blood. So uh, sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. And by the way, uh, uh, there is nothing wrong with your two speakers. It's just my uh, strong uh, French accent. We went up to a place called Hope, Canada. And Hope was a great place, but it, it didn't reflect the name. It was highly depressed. Everyone was being laid off at the mills. So there's a lot of angry loggers around, if you know what I mean. Morning. He, he was a veteran of the Korean War. And the Korean veterans were basically forgotten. Somebody it's, it's like a war that no one recognized. And here he sees a Vietnam vet. So this became personal between the sheriff and Rambo. It had nothing to do with him being a vagrant or having something to eat. It was like, oh, my war was better than your war. North. I'll jump in. I'll make sure you're heading the right direction, huh? This is the famous bridge where Sheriff Tissel dropped off Rambo, only three miles from the downtown. And this road does not lead to Portland, but to the location of Coqui Alak Canyon, where they shot the man unseen, the cliff, the military camp. And we got a whole bunch of guys like you in this town, that's why. It's a quiet little town. In fact, you might say it's boring. I think they are coming. But that's the way we like it. And I get paid to keep it that way. Portland, straight ahead. If you want some friendly advice, the haircut and take a bath. We wouldn't get hassled so much. Hope this ride helped you out. I remember they took us out to a, a bridge, freezing cold, and I now was starting to sink uh, a little further into the melancholy of the landscape. And I started to feel lethal. I started to feel very tough, very hard. And when I was walking across that bridge, I met them. And when Brian Denny backs up, gets out of the car, there were some very terse moments. Uh, came to me later on, he <laughs> said. Where the hell do you think you're going? I thought, hey, you were going to stab me. I'm talking to you, goddamn. Well, I wouldn't stab you with a character. Let me see some ID. All right, you're under arrest. You hear me? Now put your hands on the car. Now you put your hands on the car and you spread them. How you do it, you decide right now. Okay, we are at the cross street of Wallace and Third Avenue. The sheriff's office was right there on the lawn of the district hall. Of course, the building has been destroyed after the filming. So this is probably uh, difficult for you to uh, imagine uh, the scene. So let me uh, refresh your mind.
Hey guys, this is the end of the part one, so uh, you can watch the part two uh, looking at my uh, account. Let me show you uh, the other side of the road. So I'm going to, uh, to catch up those guys.